Hello students, my name is Rohan and today we will discuss 1.6 chapter of English prose. In this first part, the writer Kiran Purandare gets lost in the jungle and finally comes out of it and is safely home. He shares the experience with us when he was in the jungle alone. The name of the chapter is Into the Wild. We also have personal response questions topic in this video. You can prepare the questions yourself and if you have doubt you can always contact me. I hope you will also like this video. Kiran Purandare was on the Jamba tree for eight and a half hours to take notes about particular birds in the natural water hole of the forest of Umbar Zara. He was happy with his work and after the day's work he was returning home. Let's see further what happened. He was returning to the nearby village Pite Zari and he was following a trail. He had markings to return home. Because the forest was dense and that's why he followed the markings. He did not want to disturb the animals in the forest so he made minimum sound he was also alert his ears his eyes were all used to a good effect to see that no animals attack him and also he does not become a victim of any of the animals and so the writer calls himself he was like fox alone in the jungle now he was alone and what he did not want the same thing happened with the writer there the leopard was on a Role. He was searching for food, but the langurs were alert. They spotted the leopard and made an alarm call. Cacus cack was the sound, was the alarm call made by the langurs. The leader of the langurs was sitting on a tall tree. The other langurs ran to the nearby trees and took their positions and all were shouting, making all animals alert, aware. Even the smaller langurs were involved in the alarm. Let us see what happened with the writer. Was the writer attacked by the leopard? No. Nothing happened anything of this sort. The writer was not knowing where the leopard was. The leopard was somewhere near but luckily he did not find the writer. It was a narrow escape for the writer. And thanks to the langurs that the writer 
was not the victim of the leopard there was one more animal who was there in the alarm call it was the four horn antelope and then the leopard went away to some other place and the writer understood it from the decreased sound of the alarm call of the langurs so you were saved by the langurs so let's see what happens next in the jungle the writer was not alone there was one more person from the village his name was raju raju had come to the forest to collect logs but because of the leopard he could not complete his work after the alarm call after the leopard had gone the writer met raju they both relaxed under the kusum tree and this was the first time the writer felt relaxed why because now there were four hands four eyes and also a stick with him so let's see what happens next the writer after meeting raju try to return to the village but something bad happened he lost his marking so now it was really bad for him and why the marking was lost because the ground under the mahua tree was cleaned by someone now the writer tried to use another dusty trail to return to the village but it was of no use it was not complete now the writer was lost in the jungle and it was really a bad time to be lost because it was evening time the sun was setting and the light was decreasing the writer felt very bad he wanted to shout but there was no one to listen to him he also had food in his bag but he was in a such bad mood that he did not want to eat it so now he tried something let's see what he tried to return to the village the writer needed to try something he was in two minds first option was to climb a tree and be secure there be safe there the second option was to find a new marking a new trail he decided to find a new trail but he could not find any he had no option but to climb a hillock but after he climbed the hillock he saw animal droppings of a sloth bear and he was afraid that the bear was nearby and he would he or she would attack the writer so he climbed down the hillock with a great speed fearing for his life so till now there was no luck but the writer kept on trying let's see further what happened the writer finally after a long time found the trail he kept on walking and did not give up hope and after 50 steps he found the trail it was a bright red soil with marks of cycle wheel on it because cycles are used only by humans so he was happy 
that the village was nearby. The writer also heard a loudspeaker sound. The sound of loudspeaker was because of wedding of Keshav Bhalvi. He also saw droppings of blue bull. So all these indications told the author that the village was close by. Till now he had not reached the village. Let's see further what exactly happened. After knowing the village is nearby, the writer keeps on walking and finally he can see the lantern of Rajiram Palvi's farm. So he comes to the house, takes a bath and eats a lot of food because he was really hungry and then takes rest. At the end, he talks to himself. What he says, there is, there is or there still exists a jungle where we can get lost and it is really a good luck. The writer wants to say that the forest is still there and he is happy about it that the forest is really dense there are lots of trees there lots of animals are living a natural life so that ends the chapter i hope you have understood it now next slide there are topics of personal response let's see them I will just read the personal response topics. First one, hobbies are important in life. Second, humans should take care of animals. Third, animals are really important for human and the environment. Fourth, the most fearful incident of your life how anyone can overcome their fears so thank you students for watching this video i hope you have liked it any doubts or for any answers of the question, if you are not getting it, please be free to contact me, I will surely get back to you.